Welcome back to the channel. I've got a little bit of a ride home right now. I'm up in uh, Midtown East. I'm heading down 2nd Avenue. I figured I'd talk to you a little bit about Steakhouse. So, a lot of people ask me, what's your favorite steakhouse? And a lot of times that's really hard for me to answer with a quick flip of, uh, you know, a restaurant name. Because it really all depends on what I'm in the mood for. And there's so much that goes into play in picking a favorite steakhouse beyond just the meat itself. There's ambiance, there's service, decor, you know, all that stuff. So what I usually tell people is it depends on the cut. If you like a ribeye, I'll tell you to go to one place. If you like a porterhouse, I'll tell you to go to another. If you like prime rib, you get the picture. But I mean, to make a long story short, I think my favorite steakhouse in terms of everything combined, all of that taking into account, Jesus, I gotta fucking repave this. So my favorite of all time is probably Keen's. Keen's has just the right combination of ambient service, amazing quality beef, versatility of menu items so that you don't feel like you're getting the same meal every time you go there. Although, that is an issue with steakhouse in general. But when I go to Keen's, I'm getting the prime rib or the mutton chop, which is a double lamb porterhouse, basically. Nobody else serves that. It's really nice to serve it. It's for all like a digital side. I don't think you can beat that. And what I usually like to do is split that as an appetizer with somebody. And then get the prime rib for my main. Always a good meal there. And then if I tell people, you know, the best porterhouse, the best spot for a porterhouse, I usually say Tuscany Steakhouse. Tuscany Steakhouse is a little mom and pop run place up on 58th Street near 6th Avenue. I first went in there after I moved in just down the street. I was blown away. I mean, I'm like family in there now. Everyone knows me, the managers, the bartenders, the waiters. And so, the service is impeccable. The dry age is mild there, on the state, maybe three, four weeks. But I always get the uh, Cajun rub on my steaks. It just really makes the flavors pop. Squeeze a little charred lemon on it too. You saw my video there when I got the strip steak. I love that place. Now a few of my longtime favorites closed. Unfortunately, Bologna and Porcelli, they had a great pork shank. Delmonico's downtown, one of the city's oldest restaurants. Back close, they had an awesome aged ribeye.
I'd say also another great place to go is Gallagher's. It's been around for a long time. It's got a lot of history. It's got that beautiful window of steak in the front. A lot of good aged flavor on those steaks. There's a place called The Grill. Very expensive, very fancy, art deco kind of place. Um, they have a great prime rib. So does Gallagher's, by the way. Gallagher's prime rib is aged. The regular chops are great. They have a great burger. Um, as you saw in one of my earlier videos, Peter Luger's is nice too. They are always mentioned as the best steak place in the city. I don't necessarily agree because they're kind of inconsistent on the steaks, but their burger is tremendous. It's great. So yeah, I mean, if you... If you are really trying to find a safe place to eat and you're torn between where to go, shoot me a message. I could talk about this for hours, obviously, but I can also give you a quick answer if you just if you know the kind of place you want to be at. Like what I was saying about Keynes, the atmosphere is like a museum. They have stuff on the walls in there, like President Teddy Roosevelt's taxidermy from his hunting. They have. Uh, they have the playbill from the play that Lincoln was assassinated while watching. They have all those pipes on the ceiling, which are cool. And I love pipes. I'm a pipe smoker. Tobacco. Not that crazy shit that the kids are smoking these days. Them dirt bags. No, but uh, that place is a blast. You know, like I said, shoot me a message. I could talk about this forever. You know, just on this little ride home, I filled up the time. I fucking palaver my mouth off. There's also a lot of great steak to be had at restaurants that are not steakhouse. You know, Italian restaurants are known for doing some really good. Pisteca Fiorentina's, Costata, big cuts of beef, rosemary, great char on the outside. Then obviously you got your French joints that do, you know, steak frites. Balthazar does a good one. Boucherie, although they're kind of more of a steakhouse, I guess. Looks like I'm almost home. This is a quick ride. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, tell your friends, tell your fucking grandma. You know what? Tell fucking everybody. Tell everyone. Let's blow my channel up.